Whether you're creating a CMA to help sellers zero in on a listing price or helping buyers make a competitive offer, RPR can help. And with the RPR app, you can do it all on the go. First, search for the subject property in the app. Now scroll down to the Pricing Tools section of the property and tap Create CMA. Your first step is to confirm the home facts of the property. View the subject property's public and listing facts by tapping Public or Listing. Then tap Your Changes to input any missing or incorrect data. Once complete, press Confirm. Next, choose the comparable properties. Swipe up from the bottom for a list view of the properties or view on the map. The map can be helpful for navigating the exact area you want your comparable properties located in. Pinch and zoom to get to the exact area of properties you want to view and select Remove Boundary if necessary. Tap the pin to get a quick view of the property or swipe up to view a list of the properties in the area you've chosen. Select filters at the top of your screen to show or hide properties based on their type, status, property characteristics, and even keywords. Press sort to view the properties in order based on specific criteria such as proximity, price, or living area. Tap add to select your comparable properties. Once you've added all your comps, tap next. In step four, you'll review your selected comparable properties. Swipe left or right on the comparable properties to view each. To remove a property from your list, tap Remove. Change the order of the comps with the drop-down directly above the photo. And adjust each comparable property based on how it compares to the subject property using the sliding scale. You can also add notes on each comp. Select Next to move to Report Delivery. Here you can confirm the price, price range, and get your report. Tap Edit to change the recommended price and or recommended price range and select Save to save your changes, revert to original if you've saved changes that you want to undo, or cancel to go back to the previous screen. Choose whether you want to download your report directly or have it emailed to you. Note that the elements included in the report are from the selections you've made in your previous seller's report settings. Now press Run Report to generate the seller's report. You'll receive a prompt when the report is ready.